people always ask me, why do you do this? And it's a unique question with many layers of answers. EMS isn't about the money, it never has been and honestly it never will be. EMS is about a calling that far outweighs the value of the rain. Emergency medical staff are the ones who give the greatest of sacrifice each and every day when they come to work. No, they weren't asked to do this job or even chosen. They all to some degree made a choice. And it is within that choice that we all have begun a journey of some sort. A journey to make a difference in others' lives. The hardships of this profession are many. Quite often we walk away from a meal without having a bite to eat. Because you see, there are no scheduled breaks like a normal 8-to-5 job and we often work with little or no sleep in the harshest of environments. And if you think about the fact that no one ever calls an ambulance because they're having a good day, then you'll know that we see the worst of situations every day. And somehow, when it's over, have to manage those emotions and come back home to our families with a smile on our face. And I won't even begin to mention the training hours and knowledge base that we maintain because those numbers and statistics are pretty high as well. The true message on why we do this is when we can reverse the worst of times and make it the best of times for our patients. That is why we do this. Now I want you to think about your job for a moment and what your boss asks you to do each day. And when you realize that each day I have to ask my staff to put themselves in harm's way and sometimes risk their own life, it is within that moment that the unselfish members of EMS realize why we do this. It is a calling that very few people hear. It calls upon one's soul to help your fellow man. It is a fundamental emotion we all have within us, but it's more than that to us. It's a way of life. So the next time you look in your rearview mirror and you see us coming by, don't be frustrated because you had to stop for a brief moment to let us by. Just think to yourself, I know why they do this. And maybe say a little prayer and I hope for it to be the best of times for everyone involved.